I really love it. I think it looks very cool. Well, hello, we're in my car. Somebody suggested a video playing with the buttons or pressing the other things in my car other than just driving. Of course, I've done quite a few driving videos now. So this video, I'm safely parked up. I also thought you haven't been hearing a lot from me recently. I've done a few videos where I'm not talking, which I think is good to do sometimes, but I will be talking a bit in this one. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know that I drive a Mini because I've posted pictures with my steering wheel which has the Mini logo in the middle. I've had this car for four years I think. Wait. Maybe five? Oh. Four or five years. <laughs> Or somewhere in between, I can't remember. And before I had this car, I had a different Mini. An older Mini. I have always been very happy with minis. I've never had it break down. I do get my car serviced every year no matter what so that probably helps but uh, my minis have never let me down. I've also had two children um, where I was the main person responsible for carting the children around when there were car seats and push chairs and I never had any issue with that everything always fits in the car just fine I guess this is some kind of emergency hairband <laughs> around the gear stick I don't remember how it got there but now that it's there I will leave it there as anyone with long hair knows it's always helpful having a hairband on hand been wearing this hand chain recently. I took some pictures at the beach that I really like that I will post on my Instagram or maybe I already have but this hand chain was kind of indirectly a gift from one of my followers on here. So thank you for that. I really love it. I think it looks very cool. I actually wore it just <laughs> to the supermarket the other day because it makes my hand feel very pretty. Anyway, I will turn the car on. I won't start the engine. The key is remote, so you don't have to put the key in anywhere. It just knows that the key is here. I'm just going to check that I've got Bluetooth turned off because I don't want the sound to start coming through the car. Okay, it's off. We're good. Uh, 
Uh, that is the sound of my dash cam that I just turned off. This is the wire that goes to the dash cam. This is the wire, the aux for my phone, which I have plugged in up by the windscreen. So I will turn the car on. controls for this car are kind of old school and manual. I don't like in newer cars where you have to choose the exact temperature that you want it to be. That kind of bugs me. I much prefer just being able to say how blue or red I want it. And where in the car I want it coming out. So these lights, is this in shot? If I turn it all the way up it will be. They change with uh, how you change the settings. So it's showing here that I've set it to hot. If I turn it around goes over to blue and these lights flash not flash they sort of glow throughout your journey and they change color which I like radio oh it's found my phone now I am parked I'm going to take the handbrake off I assure you I am safe. I'm not going to roll away anywhere, but it's blocking the view of these buttons, so I'm going to take it off. I suppose the mini that I had before this it had kind of extras I suppose that came with it in that it had nicer seats and a nicer steering wheel but in terms of electronics this mini just came with very standard things I don't have a sat nav uh, that can come through the screen for example Let's have a look at vehicle information. It does link to my phone via Bluetooth. the only thing I change is the time when the clocks change. Okay, it's 
just leave that for a bit. I hope the light isn't too distracting. I'm going to put the handbrake back on. Warning, I'm going to let it click. <laughs> I have a follower who gave me some advice about using the handbrake following my previous driving videos and it kind of made me chuckle. I'm going to let the handbrake click as I pull it up just to warn you. I'm not sure if the sounds might not be a little jarring. Let's see. shift ow oh, this a manual as i would call it in my country i learned to drive in a manual car and while the first car that i had for only about 6 months was actually an automatic automatic cars are not that popular here people tend to learn in a manual and drive manual cars. I think people feel more in control and the engine feels more responsive, like you've got better access to the engine and how it's behaving, if you know what I mean. I've always been happy driving a manual, it's no it's no bother to me, it's not hard, it's, it's not difficult. I guess because it's all I've done. I don't have the clutch down, so we're a little jolty. has six gears. My mini before only had five. And you really need to know where the gears are because although it has said it in the past here, the little diagram for the gears, it's so, I guess maybe it's faded in the sun, I don't know. You can barely see it. Reverse is way over here and up. I don't know if it will do it without the clutch down. Ah, yes, so that's reverse. And then the first, second, third. that no one needed. I have empty, what can we see here? I have empty spaces here because as I said, this was a basic model, a Mini Cooper. It, I didn't have it new, I bought it second hand but whoever designed it just got the basic car without any of the extras so here are buttons that aren't in use that would have been 
for seat warmers would have been one of them probably. Uh, I'm not sure what would have been here. Some more of these. away from me. I hate the feeling of the air blowing on my face. So I have these positioned away generally. Apologize, my car could have been a lot cleaner for this, however, <laughs> I decided to just go ahead and film. In here I have change for parking, because I am a millennial and I will always have a spare change on me. Chewing gums, I am very much in the habit of chewing gum when I drive for more than about 10 minutes. I am not a smoker and have never been a smoker. I know chewing gum in the car is a bit of a smoker's habit or someone trying to reduce their smoking, I suppose. I am not trying to reduce my smoking. I don't smoke at all. I just like to chew gum and it's quite a habit now. I'm hoping this week that my YouTube woes will be sorted and I can go back to posting twice a week. So keep your fingers crossed for 